Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing good tonight. Well, I was out in my garden and I found something and I'm in a way I'm glad I did because I'm going to make a really quick, really impromptu video on tomato worms. Uh, I did not want to see this in my garden, but if you're a beginning gardener or somebody that's never grown a tomato or never got to experience a tomato worm, you're going to want to watch this video. They will absolutely destroy a tomato plant and they're really, really hard to see. So I'm going to, in the video, I'm going to show you a couple ways you can tell if you have a, a tomato worm. We're going to tell you the two different kinds of tomato worms and what the difference between them are. And we're going to give you uh, a way to maybe solve uh, having them. You know, I, I've never tried it, but I did some research real quick, and this is what they said to do if you get them. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm going to wheel you around, and I'm going to show you what a tomato worm looks like on a tomato plant. If you're a little bit squeamish about scary-looking bugs, just listen to what I'm saying. Don't look. All right, let me get you around there. Okay, so that's what he is right there. Now, the difference between a tobacco hornworm and a tomato hornworm, this is a tobacco hornworm. That orange tail right there, on, on a tomato hornworm, it would be dark. These vertical stripes right here, diagonal, I guess, they would be in a V on a tomato hornworm. Now... I don't know what the difference is other than that. I mean, they both destroy tomato plants. You can see the damage that he's done up here on these uh, leaves and everything. And I've actually got a tomato. That's kind of how I caught the guy was he was actually eating on that. So they will just absolutely destroy a tomato plant. And it doesn't take them real long. Now, if you don't see him, because they are really hard to see. This one's kind of out in the open, but they can really be hard to see. But if you're seeing the damage and not seeing the worms, and maybe you're not exactly for sure what it is. If you see, I'm going to try and get it up here, a leaf with like a brown spot in it. That's his poop. If you see that, little round brown balls, you know you got you a tomato worm. Now, how do you get rid of them? You can buy a chemical spray, but you're going to kill every bug, good or bad. So, you know, that to me is kind of off the table. I did read where you can take uh, water, liquid soap, and cayenne pepper and spray it on the leaves you know, the one, you know, get down here on both sides of your leaves, and that's supposed to keep them off of there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull him off, because I want to show you a couple other things. Um, they don't bite, they're not harmful, they're not poisonous. Okay, if you see one, and they have, it looks almost like rice on them. Uh, what that is, is a wasp, I mean, it'll be all over their back right here. A wasp has laid its eggs on it. Now, those, you want to get them off of your tomato plants, but you don't want to kill them, because them wasps actually hunt down these tomato worms and kill them. So, it, in a day or two, them wasps are going to uh, hatch, and they're going to kill that tomato worm. These here, um, I go through the garden and just look. I don't ever remember them being here quite that soon, but uh, they're here. So every evening when I can, I'm going to go through the garden and just take a look. I'll look for damage. I'll look for them. I don't see near as good as I used to. But hey, if you're a gardener and you're looking for something to get your kids interested in gardening, I actually got paid 
to find these when I was a kid. So it's a, a good way for, to get kids started in gardening. So uh, other than that, I just go through, pick them off. I feed them to the chickens, uh, get rid of them somehow. I can tell you this, I've never had any luck using them as fish bait. So, hey, that's the video. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. I hope if you're a beginning gardener, this helps you out where you can get to them before they become a real bad problem. And, hey, you guys have a good night, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.